Hey guys, hope you're having a wondrous, beauteous day. In this video, I'll show you how to pack your guitar if you're flying with it and just give you some pointers and what works, what doesn't work. So for starters, let me go over several guitars that I have. Um, Stratocaster. A Stratocaster has a whammy and if you're a whammy user, it's a good idea to remove the whammy bar before packing your guitar. If you're leaving it in a case, what I do, and uh, lots of people do it the same way, is simply return your bar to this position. This way, if there's any pressure that's applied to it, it's not going to result in your springs right inside getting stretched out unnecessarily. So this way, uh, there's no damage and it's really not a big deal but if you just imagine if you if you stretch out your springs for for a full day they're going to become uh, more slack and your action and intonation is going to go out of whack all right so I just do it this way and because uh, I don't want to remove the arm and reattach it unnecessarily Here's another guitar of mine. It's a Les Paul. It's got a Stets bar system. And here as well, you have springs, but these springs are very, very strong. And uh, typically I don't remove the arm and I just close it like this and uh, let close the lid on this bar. And the springs really don't stretch out. If I'm putting it away for, for a year, if I'm not going to be playing it for a very long time, then I will remove the arm but for for sort of taking your guitar to your gig or to a rehearsal no need to remove the arm but once again these springs are just massive when uh, when it comes to this Brian May guitar the the way the whammy works is the opposite instead of pulling on the springs the springs are compressed when you're depressing the bar so because of that, there's absolutely no harm in pressing down your bar. Your springs are not going to get damaged. All right, so let's pack my guitar into this case. With my guitar, with the Brian May guitar, it's very difficult to find an exact fit. And um, I researched this online and um, there's a case for, I forget, a, a uh, an Epiphone or a Gibson kind of a jazz box guitar. So it's wider and deeper than what's needed. So if you have something like that for your X, what you should do is you should add some, some t-shirts here so that your guitar is level like this. See, maybe two, two t-shirts, maybe fold them. So now see it's, it's not like, tipping like that because if your guitar is is not level inside your case you can easily snap the neck especially with your gibson les balls that head joint is just horrible all right so that's step one now i cannot close the lid because of this strap it's kind of thick it's a leather strap so what i'm doing is i'm putting it along the body of the guitar like this so now there's enough space and see it's really snug it's not going to move around now the next hack is that even if you're carrying your guitar inside your gig bag uh, you walk into your rehearsal the strings constantly hit your frets and if there's if you whack it hard enough they're going to dent your frets because it's like a knife stabbing your frets every step you take it stabs it stabs it so a really really simple solution what i've done is taken a folder right like a plastic folder cut the strip and i and i'm going to slide it between my strings and my fretboard like so you can use construction paper or anything like that See, and uh, once I close the lid, it's going to stay in place because it's pretty snug. 
So let's do that. Let's close the lid. See? And now my guitar is ready for travels. It also helps if your case is specifically designed for your instrument, if it's a road case, a flight case, um, flying with gig bags is probably the way to go if you can take your guitar with you into, into the airplane, but a lot of times they force you to check stuff in and if they tell you to do that, you are screwed if you have a gig bag. So my recommendation, always have something like that if you're traveling with your instrument. That's it, hope you found it useful. If you like this stuff, or if you have other ideas, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.